Okay, Othello was born on March 3, 1914 in Barangay Kogon, Carcar, Cebu. His parents are Luis Camumot and Angela Bastida. He received the Sacrament of Confirmation on August 15, 1915. At a very young age, Teofilo was already exposed to religious environment. He got his elementary education at Karkar Elementary School. He was called Lolong by his friends and family. After graduating elementary, he decided to help his father in the farm and dream of becoming an agriculturist, but his mother disapproved. He always asks his mother for rice to help the poor. He is just like St. Catherine. Teofilo's brother, Father Gisado, visited him. Father Gisado noticed that Teofilo doesn't go to school anymore. He asked Teofilo if he wants to go to the seminary. Teofilo entered the Seminario Menor de San Carlos in Mabala, Cebu City for his secondary education from 1932 to 1933. It is where he pursued his philosophical and theological studies. He became a priest on December 14, 1941, celebrating his Canta Mista, which means his first mass of a newly ordained priest, at the second floor of his home because of World War II. For 12 years, he served as cure of Santa Teresa de Avila Parish in Talisay. He was also elected as the first prior of the San Elias chapter. On March 25, 1955, Teofilo was appointed auxiliary bishop in Haro Iloilo. After masses, he kept himself helping the poor. In 1959, he was sent to the Archdiocese of Gagayan de Oro as Coachidor Archbishop with right of succession. It was during this time that he formed communities that would help the church. He attended his sessions of the Second Vatican Council. Due to his kidney problems, he had to resign his position as Coachidor Archbishop in 1970. He came back to Cebu and was assigned in Santo Tomas de Villanueva Parish in Barangay El Pardo, Cebu City. Again, his generosity became very well known that rectory workers began complaining about the number of poor people lining up to ask for food. His siblings would even remind him to be more cautious of the people whom he was helping because his generosity might be abused, but he always saw goodness in every person he met. After celebrating the Feast of St. Vincent de Paul on September 27, 1988 at the Seminario Mayor de San Carlos and visiting the Carmelite Monastery in Barangay Mabolo, Archbishop traveled home to Carcar with his driver. While he was asleep, his vehicle overturned in Sitio Magtalisay, Barangay Sangat, San Fernando, Cebu. A tree broke and smashed their car, but he saved his driver. Thousands of people attended Archbishop Kamumot's funeral at the municipal cemetery. In 2009, his body was exhumed for transfer to the Daughters of Santa Teresa convent in Valladolid, Carcar City. Another interesting fact about Teofilo was just like St. Nicholas, they are almost the same. Teofilo loves helping everyone, as well as St. Nicholas. He can also sleep while his soul is walking around. It is called bilocation. He can identify who is lying and who is being honest. Let us be like Monsignor Teofilo Kamumut for his love and mercy for others.